Hello guys and welcome to how to build a floating base. So I have been working on this new base of mine and some people have been asking oh how do you make floating base like in my previous video of my base showcase which will be linked down in the description. So anyways it's pretty pretty <laughs> like actually really simple like you see this chunk of land I mean you know it's connected to the other things but I don't think those things should hold. Like, let me show you, just in a short, what I mean by floating base, okay? So, if server should be, or could be kind to us, okay, here it is. So, as you can see, no, 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 I won't spoil you my base. Anyways, as you can see, this is a floating base. And it's, oh, hello there, FPS drops. <laughs> Anyways, it's pretty simple you can see it's achieved by using those split blocks and apparently those split blocks have like same weight as the stone you are replacing from the under your of your base like if you see if you want to see this and let me just show you oops come on and I don't know my FPS is just like crap sometimes it's good sometimes it's crap I can't like as you can see this base has no strings attached, like it's now attached to everything, or anything, and it goes by all four sides. So it's basically floating, but it's not floating. So how they did it? Again, let me just show you, I mean, I know I'm elongating the simple process for a quite some time, but yeah. Hey, hello there, FPS drops, you are amazing as always, please keep up. So what you want to do is just keep circling around the base as so and if you want you can replace the blocks under it with the concrete blocks but it doesn't matter and what you do is like you place concrete blocks like so of course like whoa concrete blocks okay nothing interesting so far but the main thing is you go to advanced you hold R and you go to advanced rotation and you rotate them upwards and you just place them like so and you just keep doing this until the whole base is basically floating and the cool trick with this is well you get a floating base plus uh, zombies won't run inside of this like place between the blocks so you can say you're completely free or completely safe like they won't even detect you like on Horde Knights, of course, they will try to break them and you have a risk of them breaking those top ones, but even then, if they break one and you have a whole base or the whole underground of those blocks, they just won't go further, so you are basically pretty much safe. Anyways, that's that, so let me just clean this everything up and I'll resume when we are done to show you the end results. So as you can see we are putting the last pieces in the base and yeah it's pretty simple as you can see there's my land climb block so yeah and voila look at this a floating base that no zombies will hit so one more thing I'll do is fill this well pit with traps and I'll place them uh, like the way they are facing intentionally because if they're placed upside down, zombies will just walk on them, but if you place them like the default place location, uh, zombies will bounce up and down, bump and down and up and down, and yeah, they are not gonna hit those things uh, so much, so it will be a safer choice. Plus, when they break their legs, they won't be able to hit this one, because they will be hitting like this area, like this air and they won't be able to reach the up like this up plate so it's basically really 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 safe spot or safe kind of house to build plus you can upgrade it to steel um, how do you call it steel plates and that will add on to the durability of your base anyways that was that i don't know i hope it helped someone if it did a like would be appreciated and see you guys next time bye